what is going on everybody so for the last how should i say it basically the last week you say five to you know seven days i've been binge watching this show and season two is already out but i've only seen about two episodes i've seen two and i'm on a third episode now of season two but i, I i've started you know i started with season two but then i re-went to season one again of what if now this show to me this might be the best television show marvel has ever produced and i'm talking about in that span of when they had one division where they had falcon and winter soldier you, you know you the she hawks and then the miss marvel i think this right here is better than all of them and it's animated so i mean season one was just phenomenal and it came out 2021 um what the, the animation was on point it relived the events from majority of the marvel movies and it had its spin to it of course it's called what if so what if such and such is in this dimension what if such and such overtook this person such and such had such and such powers you know things like that and then you have this uh being this god called the watcher right the watcher he he just in every episode he it's like different events like i said he he has it to where like the zombie apocalypse you know he's overseeing things he's telling us what we already know what we already seen in the movies right you know uh, but for his side he's telling it from a different perspective what if you know what if a vision if what a vision didn't turn into jarvis or however that happened in age of ultron instead of that what if uh vision or jarvis was in ultron you see what i'm saying and he wasn't with tony stark so things like that so i thought it's great man i mean the fighting is fantastic and like i mentioned the animation the colors i went to school for similar things you know went to high school for this stuff so uh i ain't gonna say for that but i, I did my fair share of animation right but bro the characters they they what i liked is that they they brought back the actors to portray these characters and this was the last if not one of the last roles of chadwick boseman with him is t'challa so i don't know if he only did one episode or he did all the episodes in which t'challa was on i think t'challa was in at least three or maybe four episodes of this series of this uh yeah this season and I, it's nine episodes so and i want to say after the second episode where instead of t'challa being black panther he was instead star lord they at the end of that episode it had like you know a, a dedication and memory of chadwick boseman so yeah but uh this was fantastic man you know and after I review this, I'm going to go watch season two. And uh, yeah, and once I'm done with that, I'll review that as well. So I'll just say the things that I did like and didn't like. But the thing is, is that I like the majority of the stuff. The only thing, I, I if we're rating episodes, I don't know which one's the best. Honestly, I, I was going to say that Captain uh, Captain Carter was a great episode season uh, for episode one instead of it being steve rogers captain carter gets the serum and she's you know captain america captain carter right she's built like she's up there fighting the troops and beating the war ending the war and whatnot so but steve rogers he of course doesn't become captain america but he's still helping out but they give this guy the iron giant type of uh, what's it called it's in one of the episodes of season two i cannot remember the name of it oh my god i can't remember the name of it. they gave it a name but he kills it uh who else but I, i'm gonna have to rethink but honestly looking at that season and then the killmonger one was a great episode right at first i was like okay where are they going with this they relived uh how should i say uh iron man one like i had mentioned they go back into the previous movies 
and they, they it's like alternate dimension it is alternative to what actually happened so remember in the first iron man he he's in what was it afghanistan afghanistan and you know i think what was it he got blow he almost got blown up by his own missile and then they capture him but instead of that happening killmonger comes in and takes out everybody and saves iron man you know i was trying to see where they was going with it but i love the twist that they did with it killmonger was basically portraying both sides but then you have they merged it to the events of the first black panther where he's talking about oh why are you suppressing this? Uh, why are you holding on to this? This should be for our people and whatnot. So, you know, Killmonger. And then Michael B. Jordan came back and voiced Killmonger. So, it's phenomenal, man. Um, you know, back in Wakanda, he ends up being Black Panther. And he double-crosses the government of the U.S. and the Wakandans. So, he, he kills it. That was a great episode. I thought that might have been the best up until you get the last two where you got Ultron, like I had mentioned, instead of Thanos. And it's crazy how they did Thanos like that. That was insane, bro. Thanos has the gauntlet, but Ultron has so much power. He, Like I said, he overtakes Vision, and he just slices uh, Thanos in half, and he takes the gauntlet. And now he has all this power. So uh, that's that. But what was, what was crazy was that he could hear the Watcher. <laughs> The watchers up here like, oh man, he can hear me because no one can no one can see him or hear him because he's a god. But once Ultron has all this power, he hears him, and then he ends up fighting the watcher. So then you have in episode nine, Watcher has to get at least one person from, you could say, from the episodes in the past, link up together to take out Ultron. That was fantastic, bro. That was phenomenal. I would probably say one of those last two episodes might have been the best. It might have been the last one. And then how Killmonger, they knew he was going to betray everybody, but they lock him in with uh, um, Ultron. But that Doctor Strange, that Doctor Strange episode, that's that's top three. That's top three. So it, it, it was great, man. What, what else am I meant? I said zombie one. Uh... What if the world lost his mightiest heroes where you had uh, the first Ant-Man take out, you know, uh, Iron Man, Natasha, a uh, Black Widow, Thor, Hawkeye, Hawk, all because his daughter had died. He did that because, you know, they killed his, his daughter passed away you know, or got killed and he's just taking out everybody in revenge. But the way they did Sam Jackson, and then Loki, of course, was the culprit. But Sam Jackson, I'm like, you kill all these guys? And Sam Jackson up here fighting like this? We ain't never seen Nick Fury move like this in the movies and TV shows, now. Nah. But that was a great episode. What else am I missing? Yeah, like I said, Doctor Strange. Uh, what? <laughs> and so what? What would happen if he lost his heart instead of his hands? Because he kept, in that episode, he kept trying to revive what was it his wife or yeah, his wife fiance or wife but due to the timeline her dying was meant to happen in order for him to become dr strange but then you have the bald-headed chick i know i forget her name you know she's in the dr strange movies but she was basically the one that cut him in half and she made that other other half of dr strange but because she had to but the good Doctor Strange knew that he couldn't bring her back, but the evil Doctor Strange getting the books of, uh, what do they call it, Loney, whatever it's called. I forget the, net, the book's names, but he took all those books and had all the spells and the powers, gathered them up, and became just this evil freaking being. But it's just amazing how in the last episode that the Watcher, he got Gamora, basically because of her, her, uh, her, uh, what you gonna call it? Her crusher, what they call it? Things the uh, the jewel, cr not the jewel crushers. The um, I can't think of the, it's the stone crusher, right? You know, and her fighting or whatnot. But if if they would have had Wanda, and I'm kind of surprised they didn't have. They only had zombie Wanda. They didn't have the Wanda that we seen in the second uh, Doctor Strange movie. That she has so much power. If you would have had the evil Doctor Strange. And he was one of the ones at the end. If you would have had the evil Doctor Strange, if you would have had Wanda, if you would have had Thor, you know, and they that Thor was in there. If you would have had, who am I thinking of? 
some a Captain Marvel, all the people, all the the, the uh, superheroes of villains working together with all that power, they could have took out uh, Ultron. But um, yeah, man, like I, I mentioned, Killmonger, the only uh, would have thought was the only child. Yeah, that one I would say was the weakest. I really won't feel it. I mean, it was still great fighting between him and Captain Marvel. Them going to different, uh, what was it, different countries and just fighting. The cinematics look great in every episode, but that one, the fighting was nice. Thor being separated from Loki. We know that him and his brother Loki are brothers from what we've seen in the movies, but this one was like, okay, what if Loki was not his brother, but instead he was picked up. Uh, Odin had sent him somewhere, and he was... And they had, he had, it was on the show, but he ends up being this big ass, tall avatar looking dude. So he wasn't actually Thor's brother, but he was in the episode. But yeah, Thor was just, they just trying to get Thor away because they knew how much power he had and him bringing all the other superheroes in Vegas. But they were just causing a ruckus, man, just partying, not trying to get out. So you trying to get shield to take these guys out with the help of Captain Marvel. But you know, that was probably the weakest episode. But, yeah, man, this season was fantastic. Me looking at it, it's like, man, bro. So, yeah, that's all I got to say, man. Season 2 review will be up. Hopefully, uh, once I finish, but hopefully it's not too long. Hopefully within a week, right? But, anyway, I am out of here. Catch you all later.